Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and I have never noticed that the DSP logo is on these towers. <laughs> That's pretty darn cool. It kind of gives me vibes of like fix it and satisfactory with all the logos on everything. That's really neat. I like it. Uh, okay, so last time we set up a bunch of these solar sail launchers up here nearby the north pole of our lava planet. And they haven't fired anything yet, and I was a little bit concerned about that, but I'm just going to give it a bit of time and see what happens. If we go through a full year, uh, we'll see. Um, maybe it doesn't work. But right now we're in the winter zone, so that means that this area of the planet is likely to be in the shadow. Uh, so hopefully we can get into the summer and see what happens there. Now I did set up um, manufacturing and I forgot about the dish. So we'll do that first. But my goal for the episode today, or at least what I want to work on today, is going to be, well, first of all, figuring out what's going wrong with this science, uh, setting up uh, the... Um, the extractor for the gas giant to get some of that fire ice and then going and getting uh, manufacturing here for the items that we really needed which was the purple dumbbells or pink ones uh, and the the other thing that we wanted what was the other thing it was the processors yeah I want to make both the pink dumbbells and the processors right here on this planet but it all hinges on the graphene which we don't have yet so we're gonna get that and hopefully get things going together now in the meantime we did pick up that steel just now and I'm going to make a ray receiver we can make two of these so we'll go ahead and craft that stuff and maybe even start scouting uh, a little bit of the area for the other stuff that I want to put down here looks like our our thingies are not doing anything yet so we'll go into map mode and kind of look at our planet and we're gonna need both copper and iron there's a nice chunk here wow that's a big nice building area there's also some supplemental iron here and copper there there there's our south pole um looks pretty good let's see silicon we have some over there and where else let's see i think it's looking pretty good i think that one area is looking pretty nice I don't remember. I think we do need silicon. Oh, here's a great spot though. Wow, I like this. There's copper, iron, and silicon all in the same location. And we do need, and there's titanium there if we need it. I don't think we need that. But let me just check. We, uh, um, let's see. This stuff needs silicon. Yeah, we're going to need those microcrystalline components, which goes into the processors. Okay, so we'll get those there. So oh 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 look at this we're in range oh we got two towers firing oh this is fabulous okay so where are they firing it looks like the further the further one let's go ahead and look at our dyson sphere schematic yes they are firing toward this one that is really darn cool hey hey and we can see the other planet so here we can see the distance so this one is beyond this uh measuring gauge here and look this one is our planet here so we're kind of like um maybe a third of the way from here to the measuring gauge on the lava planet it's kind of good to know you know it's kind of cool so it looks like we're just firing at this section of the swarm oh that's fun oh this is so beautiful look at this this is just fabulous let's try to get a screenshot of this firing Oh no, <laughs> I'm not lucky with the firing. Dang it, <laughs> it's okay. I'll come and get one later. But it does look like we are having all of them firing. And remember, they were alternating. They are at different um, firing points. You can see the muzzles pointed in different directions. So we are actually getting, uh, yeah, we're getting some here too. We can see the tiny little solar sails getting into orbit over there. Oh, this is great. Okay, cool. So that leaves us with... Um, the ability to go let's go and find first of all find where our other planet our friend planet is there it is let's go ahead and get this here i feel like i'm i think i might be fighting the gravity of the planet i guess i'm kind of a bit self-conscious about that because it's like oh no mouse losing control how help help oh no i didn't put my dish down oh no 
Oh well, we'll put it down later. It'll be fine. We'll just remember that that is for that planet. But yeah, I'm confused about why the um, why the science isn't working. That's not good. It is not good at all. So let's go down there and see. Let's see. We can aim here. This away. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, hello. Oh god, I can't turn. Ha! Huh. Can't turn around until I get more energy. Ha! This is so bad. This is so stupid. No. No. <laughs> this is bad. I was trying to like aim a tiny bit better and go to the right place. No. I better let it just just build up a tiny bit. Er. Okay, I'm going to have to let it build up a tiny bit more, I think. It's getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. We're going a little, we might be just going too fast. Maybe I need to Look at this dust in space. I've never noticed that before. How have I not seen this before? Jeez, that's funky. All right, let's... <laughs> I'll be careful this time. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay, yeah, let's just walk to the nearest power pole. <laughs> I think I can... Let's just charge here real quick. There we go. That was such a funky thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have some power. I'm going to go ahead and delete these guys. All right, first of all, let's go to uh, the other side of the planet real quick and check on uh, the, the science and see what's going on because this should not be stopped. We have titanium coming in. At least I hope it's coming in. Let's check the tower and see what's going on. All right, here we go. I feel like I need to upgrade my mech speed. We have... Oh, look at this. The belt isn't working. Oh, no. I thought I did it so that it was filtered. No? I Okay, we'll fix it. It's fine. Okay, filter. Titanium. Go. Is this going to work? Let's just make sure that we're going to output stuff. Yeah, the wit is working. Okay, good. That's done, at least. Okay, so that's a project already completed. Hooray. Okay, mall. Now then. I want to look at the production. Looks like motors... Why are motors stopped? Hello? Oh, okay. That's fun. Okay, apparently I made a mistake with the belts in the mall here at some point. Let's get that fixed and figured out. Is that underneath? It's being bit funny here. I feel like it's trying to do th things I don't want it to do sometimes, but there we go. It's fine. This is actually great so we can get these motors moved along. Uh, that's why a lot of these buildings haven't been able to get them. Uh, it looks like this is backed up too. Uh, yep, yeah, we didn't get an inserter. That's okay. It's just part of the part of the quality control of the mall and apparently it wasn't built very well. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, it looks like we have a lot of stuff going on here. Um, this thing, as I recall, also needs motors. So what if we took this belt all the way down for our temporary uh, situation? I think Avon would be proud of me with all these temporary situations. <laughs> oh, yes. But it's good. As long as it works, it works, right? And we are getting this fixed imminently. We just have to have a few more until it gets fixed imminently. I mean, you know. Okay, so what's going on with this? Is this okay? I think we're just getting copper through there. That's fine. Uh, how is this working? This is... Ooh. Maybe we can build a little bit more of these to have more processors. Okay, let's try that. While all these other things are getting going. We did get how many ships? One ship. Oh, I'm happy about that. That's great. Uh, and for now, I think I want to give this these motors to this thing as well. I feel like I need more inventory spaces for sure. That is a thing I would love to have. Let's get these on a short belt. See if we can just 
build some stuff here. So this needs silicon and copper to make these microcrystalline components. We have copper right there, so we'll just steal from right there. It's not moving very fast anyway. And here, I feel like it would like I would love to have a chest here and just have silicon. So I'm gonna go and dump my stuff in a big chest. I think that would be useful for now. I think I'm gonna delete this. Delete that, delete the graphite. Eh. Delete the stone. Well, the stone is kind of useful sometimes, I guess. I can put this one piece of copper in here, though. I don't need one piece of copper. In any case, let's just shove the rest in there and then go and get some silicon uh, from our initial box that we had in the start area. There we go. Yes, there we are. Very nice. And we'll... You know what? I'm just going to take all of it because there's nothing else we're using it for. So might as well. Take it all. I'm happy to see that yellow science is now flowing again. Hooray. That feels good. And then we're going to check on our progress here with stuff. Okay, let's take this out and delete the box. So what do we have? We have no towers. Okay, we need the pink dumbbells for that. And then this one is no tower, none of those towers. Okay. How about this? Have we made one yet? No, we need engines for this. Is this making stuff? It is. Aha. It is making stuff. It is pulling those engines in a tiny bit at a time. And it needs five of them. Wow, five engines to make one thruster. That's quite a lot. But I guess if it's working, it's working. So this is going to have, this is going to make one of these collectors very soon, actually. Because all we need is the craft speed and the engines, and it's got it. It already has the tower. Now, I do have a tower, an extra tower to put on the other planet for when we are importing those other things. And I'm quite happy about that, actually. Let's see. This tower we can set up for importing stuff as well. So this is ready to go once we get things in here. So let's set it up for pink dumbbells. And we'll request, again, I don't know, like... Let's do, um, yeah, let's do 5,000. Why not? And I also would like to request the processors. So we'll have that. I learned something very interesting today. And this might change, but at the current point in early access, if you have a ship that goes over, and our, ours can carry 200 right now. But if you are requesting less than 200 or the ship capacity, it won't bring any back. And I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intended or what, but as you get on with research, you can uh, upgrade your ship capacity to a thousand. And this is problematic because when you have things like warpers, which are very expensive, uh, sometimes the ship, well, the ships won't bring uh, unless you have a thousand warpers to bring. And it's like, what? <laughs> so um, I'm hoping that might change. I, I really hope that might change because that's a tiny bit scary. I mean, that's like really scary. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that uh, the devs will, will uh, yeah, attend to that because that seems like, whoa, that's scary times. All right. I want to get, uh, we have... These are the chips. Let's go get some green chips and fill that box because we have plenty. Oh, solar sail life. Oh, solar sails getting better and better. Every research. They really improve a lot just with the simple researches that you can do. So that's fun. That's really fun. Okay, let's go down here and yep, just put these guys back in here and take one stack for ourselves. Okay, Ooh, are we getting one? Oh, we got it. We got the orbital collector. Happy days are here again. All right, we are actually really low on power. I want to figure that out because that's not great. Okay, before, um, well, let's see. What do we need? What do we need? Um, let me look and see what the status of our Dyson dishes is. I They probably are over capacity, I would guess. Hello? Yeah, 12 and a half megawatts already. So we need more dishes here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the two dishes that we have for the other planet and just place them down. OK, 
Okay. These dishes have a very funny sound. They almost sound like they're mooing or something. Hello? Colliding with other objects. I might need to put down landfill here. Uh, E. Here's some. We have some landfill. I'm going to use the menu, though. I really like the menu for landfill. I want to do, let's see, lay foundation with no decoration. I am not big on the whole decoration thing. Uh, it's just like uh, metal panels. So let's see. Let's just make sure we can get some here. Space. This is a bit inconvenient that I don't have land here, but I consider it a decent use of landfill because of the very, very strong uh, benefit to using these dishes at the poles. So, okay, there we go. We're getting, we're getting there now. Okay, so this is the spot. There we go. Spot found. Hooray. All right, so this is going to charge up. I think we definitely need another one. So let's get another one placed. There we go. And those are connected there. Okay, good. So these should charge up soon and give us kind of a lot more power. How is this going? What is, what's going on over here? We have coal. Oh, wow. These are our, that's one of our initial thermal power things. I didn't know we were still using thermal power. Whoops. Okay. That's a thing. Apparently that happens. All right. Uh, this is going to go up, but I'm glad we started this because it gives it time to go up. Now then, uh, with that being said, I really would like to build many more of these dishes. I feel like would love to kind of, well, let's get some silicon before we completely run out. Um, and let's go back to this menu again. Let's see. So these need many things. These need steel. And I feel like I should add these to the mall. They really need to be in the mall. This is not something that's easy to craft. And I kind of would like to have them made. This is it. But yeah, the, it's just because they have so many pieces to them that makes them not easy to craft. Let's see the plasma stuff. Do we have that made somewhere? I've kind of forgotten. Hello? Plasma stuff. We have the other plasma -y stuff, but that's not the same. What does that? Oh, yes, we do. Ah, it's part of the solar sails. I knew I recognized it from somewhere. There it is right there. Nice. Okay, so let's see. How does this work? This works by going and getting it from the box. I see. Somebody, including <laughs> past KOS, thought of us. This is great. We feel loved. We feel appreciated and loved for sure. All right. I want to give the graphene to somebody who needs it because it's good stuff. I think this needs graphene and we still have three. So we're just going to toss it uh, because I need two inventory squares to get this stuff done. Now, the other item I needed was, let's see, those magnetic, super magnetic rings. I love the icon for that. It's really cool. Uh, let's see. Here they are. Okay, so I'll take one of these and then I'm gonna build a thing. Can we build? We can build three of them. This is great. Let's build three. Okay, and then I can get some super magnetic rings and build more. Build one, two. Okay. Let's see. Okay, very good. I'm kind of confused where those two went. Tiny bit confused. Did they, do I have a pile of them already somewhere? Yeah, I have three. That's nice. Okay. Very, very good. Take another set and another set. I guess they're not as bad as I thought. Okay, we can now make two. And then we need a steel. Uh, which is somewhere. Ah, yes, it's over here. Hmm. It is probably used in one of these uh, buildings. There's some. I'm just doing it like, hello, steel for the poor. 
alms for the poor. Do you have any steel to share with your brethren? Oh, we need some. Okay. And then we need more plasma e stuff. And this is going to give us kind of a nice stack of these things. But it is something that I think I need to really consider automating just because of um, the need for it. Just because of the need for it. So let's see. Ah, uh, we can do one more. And then super magnetic rings. This is why you have a mall that builds stuff. Because you don't want to be flying around like this. <laughs> At least we have most of the things in close proximity, but yeah, I need to add this to the mall, clearly. Definitely, clearly, I need to add this to the mall. All right, and we have no more processors. I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, plasma stuff, or photon container, sorry, uh, into the box again, because we really don't need it for anything else, and it just clogs the inventory. So I'm gonna keep that as it is. And I'm really delighted that we have all these dishes. This is gonna be good. Uh, we're going to need them for the other planet, and I'm feeling quite happy about getting them. Now, let's go shopping uh, to build stuff on our other planet. I feel like I would love to have... Um, let's see. I think I, I would really love to have a box for extra assemblers. Extra assembler ones, because I think they could be quite useful to have, you know, assembler ones. We have lots of these. I'm going to take two full stacks of twos as well. Oh, but the good thing about twos is they have a 1.0 crafting speed. So it's easier for people to calculate things uh, a little bit nicer. All right. One thing that I would like to check on is the fuel rods. I would love to have better fuel rods. Uh, in order to do the building and stuff because it makes a huge huge difference in stuff so in like how long before refueling and that kind of thing so i'm going to drag these there it's too valuable to throw out for sure and what else do we need we need some inserters which we have let me just check this i like to look at this thing for the amounts of belts that we have in this kind of thing and we can also recycle a few that we don't need so let's give those here and then these you can have some of those i do wish that i had in this mall a space between these two assemblies because i feel like um i felt like oh yeah it's great having these you know this block of nine like where you would add assembler three up here um but uh on the other hand it would be better to have one of these short assemblies so that you have a crate where you can load stuff in there so I kind of regret that. I think I'll make that change to the mall next time I do an iteration. But just something that I learned along the way. Uh, all right. So what else do we need? Do we have smelters? We have a few. Let's go and pick up a few more. Let's see. Power poles. Yeah, I need some power poles for sure. We have... That's 200. Nice. And smelters. Let's get a few of those. We have 150 should be enough I think maybe even a hundred is enough Eh, I don't know I don't know how many is enough and belts you can never ever ever have enough belts I feel so let's get a couple more stacks of belts because that's useful all right nice and I think that's all we need and right now I want to go and make some maybe those uh, deuterium rods if we can afford to not exactly sure what actually you know what let's stop and find out what do we need to make those rods do we have them we have them deuteron uh, I don't know why they're not called deuterium fuel, uh, fuel rods but maybe they just wanted to change the name it looks like we need some of this improved titanium we need hydrogen or no not uh, not hydrogen do De uh, deuterium and also these guys which we need more of okay Let's get a few stacks of these. So I'm going to get stacks here. We'll just take those and then and then I'll put the stacks back that we don't want to have. So I have three stacks of this. Let's go and build the thing and I'll go and get more of those super magnetic rings afterward. I know that I just looted the container, so we need to kind of build them up a tiny bit more. Now, it looks like we might actually have an issue here with too much hydrogen. And this is something that uh, we could possibly fix this problem.
by uh, adding a burning plant, thermal power plants here. The problem that we're seeing here is this is full. This is just full. So I think, uh, do we have any fuel containers? Or uh, what are they called? Liquid, liquid containers. No, oh no, we don't have any. I should have gotten some at the mall. Uh, where are they? Let's see. Here they are. Oh, we can make one. Let's make two. Very nice. It is rough having this inventory so small. <laughs> I don't like it. It's like, no, no. All right. With this, I want to make a... Let's get a belt here. This actually can be a slow belt. This does not have to be fast at all. We can save the energy. We don't need it. So let's get our assembler like here. Okay, an assembler, you're gonna make these guys. So we need a, we need to do a box here that has a filter. Cause I feel like these filters get clogged quite often. So I'm gonna put a filter there on each of these. And one is going to be for this stuff, the titanium. And one is going to be for the super magnetic rings. And hopefully that means it won't get clogged. So let's put those in there and we'll get the rings in a sec. We'll put those there right now. I think I'm gonna put these guys away. I'll give them to one of the assemblies. Let's go put a power pole right there and then this can start assembling. We need it the inserter to be there. Okay. And we should be able to have stuff. Hooray. Now it's going to take a while to get this sorted, but it'll be fine. It'll give us much better power. So at the, oopsies, I meant to press C, not B. Uh, we don't have a lot of fuel right now. We probably need to pick a little bit up and we have plastic. I think we can toss this. Don't really need that. I'm just looking to like eliminate some stuff from my inventory. So let's see, get rid of these two things. We don't really need that much. These guys are kind of precious though. So we'll add this to either this one or that one or this one or this one maybe. No, the base station. That's what I want to add it to this one. So do we have another one yet? Not yet. Okay, so we are kind of struggling here with stuff. This thing, ah, we need to get more of this. So this is silicon. This is another thing we're needing silicon for apparently. So I can go ahead and grab a few bars here and turn that into silicon diamonds or silicon, I think they're called silicon gems or something. Let's put that here. They are called silicon or crystal silicon. That's fine. And those are used in making accumulators. At the moment, we don't have enough of those. We've got lots of engines, but we... Do we have an... Oh, hello. You know, <laughs> friend, friend assembler. Here, there's a few for you. How nice. Put Top that up to 40 and we'll put the rest into there. It seems to have a priority to go to there. I'm, I have this disconnected from here because I don't want a ton of of those orbital collectors yet because we just don't have the throughput for stuff. But this is gonna be nice to get another ship. Wow, we have six, this is great. Oh, this is amazing good, nice. Ah, oh, this, is, this is really good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in maybe two more ships here. Where did they go? Hello? Oh, there you are. Okay, two, two more ships here. Put in, oh, wrong one, wrong ships. Excuse me. Here we go, that's the correct ones, I think, yes. Okay, there we go. So now we have sh six ships there. I want to take this orbital collector and let's just fly to our blue planet. Um, do we care about, yeah, let's do this. Let's just do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect these lines right now so that we can have uh, production existing here. OK, 
Okay, there we are. Okay, so those are going there. So the one on the uh, top side is going to be pink dumbbells. So, oopsies, there we go. Three, and I guess we go up a tiny bit here. Is that a valid? It is a valid lane to go that way, so that's fine. And then this one is down and choose the processors okay and then we go up and go across there we go very nice oh no what the heck was that about no 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 excuse me look why did you go down i was like no <laughs> why how did that happen please please don't confuse me game I, I did the wrong I did the correct thing I did not press the down button there or zero or anything so that was very strange I didn't expect that to happen uh, okay so we are getting this we have those for sending let's check on our Dyson Swarm oh my gosh look at this how great oh and look at the gap you can see where the um, the gap is in uh, transmission there actually it's right here because we are filling in this part of it. And these are probably the earliest sales, which are kind of starting to die out. That's quite cool to see that, that like physically represented in things there. That's cool. Okay, let's find our planet. Oh my God, what a cool picture. This eclipse, jeez, that's awesome. All right, let's go to Rastaban 3, which is our gas giant. We want to place our collector thingy there let's go there okay so let's see if we go into B build mode we can actually see the grid um, and we need to be at zero zero are we going up okay hold on we're going it going on a weird thing Okay, we need to be at the zero line, which I think is this dark green line here, or this bright green, whatever. There we are. Okay, and then we're at 175 west. I want to go at like 180 or 179, something like that. Okay, so this is it, where the green lines, because what has happened in the past is like, I don't know where my tower is, and I tend to try to put them in the same place so that I find them later and I don't have to replace them. So we're going to just do this and get our oh i guess it's transportation node orbital collector right here uh so we can find it easily later our bots are just going to place this down and it's going to just start uh collecting stuff automatically so um you can see the fire ice is collecting at a much higher rate than the hydrogen um, but both are energy sources. You can burn this fire ice directly, but it's actually more useful for use in graphene, uh, making graphene, and that's what we're going to use it for on our planet, on the lava planet. And then hydrogen is kind of free. It's like this is an infinite source of hydrogen, kind of like oil is as well, also an infinite source. And you can burn this, and it just you just get it, get it, get it home, and burn it. So if we need more. Uh, energy. We'll just go for that. Now then, I think I forgot to grab more <laughs> energy containers. So let's see what we're at. We have, yeah, we have none. I'm going to go back to the planet real quick because I feel like it's going to be useful to have more energy. <laughs> I like energy. It's good stuff. Hmm. Yes. Now then, um, I don't think we're going to have enough containers. Where did our, 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 oh, it's over there, right there. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these containers because we're going to do quite a lot of building in the other land. So let's go ahead and go toward the sun. Yeah. Oh, wow. God, is that pretty or what? This is such a pretty game. Oof. It's so nice. It's like wowie, 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 wowie. Okay. We just got plus five uh, logistics drone carrying capacity. That's the small ships on the pl 
planetary system and then plus 100 logistics vessel carrying capacity. So that means we can carry 300 instead of 200 at a time. Uh, yeah, and they can transport more cargo at a time. That's very cool. This is exciting, having a ring like outside the orbit. That's fun. That is fun. That's a fun thing. I like fun things. And I'm going to check on the, the status of the swarm as well. I think on this planet, I also want to have um, dishes at the South Pole as well. So let's see. Let's slow down here and land. There we go. And I want to check here. We have 150 megawatts. That's pretty good. We have 4,000 sails in orbit compared to 1,400 that we had uh, a little while back. So South Pole is that way. It's up. So let's go there. And we know we're there when the grid changes a tiny bit into a circular bit. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. We really need the landfill here, don't we? That's fine though. We have some on us. I should probably have carried a little bit more, but it's okay. We have graphene now. Um, here we go. Yeah, we don't even have the center of this circle filled. That's not ideal. Oopsies, no. Oops. Yeah, lay foundations without any decoration. Okay, there we go. We can just go around this circle. And I think that's probably enough for now. Yeah, that's going to be good. I, we don't need to flatten anything. In fact, I don't like it when it's flat. It looks horrible. It's like featureless. Oh, okay. Let's get uh, some solar stuff going on. And hopefully we're going to have enough power uh, in the swarm to support all these different stations. But we'll see. We'll just have to check it out. All right, so that should be good. All right, so let's put these down. I don't want to put too many uh, just because we want to make sure that we have oh wait, uh, have enough to share between the planets. Where is our stuff? Okay, it looks like our nearest is down that away, kind of in that direction. So I'll go and march that way with power poles. Now, um, when you have power poles, by the way, actually we can put them on this axis, maybe on that little line there. That's nice. You can, you don't have to use long distance the whole way. You can use regular. You can use these, see, the Tesla towers. And the reason you don't want to do that is because these have a drain. The big power poles have a drain. It's not very much, but it is still something so that if you're like really concerned about power, you kind of should like, just think about it. Let's see, this one is there. Of course, I have no idea if I have, okay, there's our, there we have stuff. All right, this is actually a really nice connection here. Cool. And I'll just connect this with the regular power pole there. Okay, this is pretty great, pretty great. So now we have much more production of power. These guys are, have stopped firing for now. So let's see, we have uh, this much stuff in here for now. Um, I think because the other location that we scouted is so far away, I think it was here. It was there that we were going to do stuff. Yeah, I think we might need another tower. Um, let's see. What, how many spaces do we have again? We've got two spaces, though. We do have two spaces. So we could just run long belts here to this one. And that will kind of... Let's see. Does this have a drain? I don't think so. I think it only needs power when it sends ships off. Um, one of the reasons I use this tower is I'm wondering, I think, that our ships can do back and forth trips. So that's why I had the solar sails in here so they could bring one item and then take items as well. So let's see. 
We can put belts along this way if we wanted to, I think. Yeah, it's actually not that far, is it? Huh. All right, so I think what I'm going to want to do here is we can have the smelting up here, maybe, and then production down here. And I think what I'm going to start, what I'm going to, what I want to do is choose the product and figure out how many items a second we want of this and then build on that. So let's see if we do these guys. Oh, oh, one thing that I forgot. We need to import the fire ice. Woohoo. Okay. Let's build backwards though. Let's see. These are four seconds a piece. And if we're going to go for a modest amount, like three per second, then we'd need 12 machines. I think, I think that would be correct. Maybe we should just go for 16. Just go for broke here. Let's go for 16 and we're just going to use all of the uh, machines. Well, now nah, let's try machines mark two. They are a little bit more expensive on power, but um, it'll be fine. Okay, so let's see. I think we'll do these here. Down here, probably. Let's get these and we're going to let's choose the item first. Wait, what is the other? Oh, there's another thing. Ah, oh, those are unipolar magnets. No, we do not have those. We do not not have those. All right. I mean, we do not have those. Not, not, not. Because then that would be the negative and that we're not, not, uh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the knots. Tongues getting in knots. Oh, whoops. That's not what I want to do either. I wanted to click this thing. So one, two, three, and four. So that's one, two, hold on, wait a second. One, oh, that's two groups of four. I almost thought I had three. Two, three, and four. That's three groups of four plus two, and I'll add another two. Okay, good. And these are going to transport our fun stuff out of here. Okay, and I will go ahead and put in or put out the inserters. I'd like to do that one at the end of the belt because it makes sense. It would be nice to have a copy and face paste function for these guys. That would be so good. So we're going to get these going. I'm really excited to play with that fire ice. I didn't have one in my test game. I've never used fire ice before, so this is like really new for me. It's like, oh, this is cool. But I'm told it can be burned, which is great uh, in case we need extra fuel. So let's see, we need graphene here. Um, and it takes two seconds to get two graphene. And how much graphene does this need? It needs two. So that means we need, let's see, two seconds to get two. And this needs to in two seconds. So we need half the amount of machines making the graphene. And I have a horrible thought that I probably forgot. Yeah, chemical facility. I don't know if we have enough. We do have some. Oh, that's cool. So we just need eight chem plants making this. That That's okay. That's, that's quite fine. So um, hmm. where do we want these chem plants? So let's see. If we do belts here, let's just put short belts because we need just to count the products that we need for this. We need three different things. We need copper and the graphene and the motors. So if I get, let's see this from here. Okay. This is what I want to do. I think we're going to just send these this way. And what I can do is chemical plants are pretty kind of huge. And I'm thinking eight of them will fit quite uh, easily here. So let's see. As long as one of them, yeah, we can actually start here. And then the machines will easily be able to pick these up. So let's see. Here is one, two. See if that fits there with the power pole. Yes, it does. Is that too close? Maybe. I don't know. Let's do it here. 
Ah, yes. Let's choose the uh, recipe first. Because I, I, I always lament, like, forgetting to choose it and then plopping down a hundred or something. And it's like, oh, dear. That's not what I wanted. Whoops. Okay. One, two. So how many is that? Two, four, six, and... Wow, they're not actually as long as I thought they were. So we're going to have to very carefully kind of place the inserters for these. But they are aligned in a way that actually works. So I'm quite kind of happy about this. So let's see. We're going to output here. And this one is going to input, say, there. Output here. We'll just make sure to input them at the closest point. All right. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I think that should work. It looks like it's, I think it's, we're just running out of space with these guys. Yep, it's, it's working perfectly, I think. Can't even put this one there, this one there. And this one will output here. No, please. There we go. And that one will go that way. Nice. Okay, cool. That is working well. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so where is this fire ice coming from? I think we might add the tower here. This seems like a good location. Maybe even here. Maybe on this island of craziness. There's titanium there. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's add this somewhere. Maybe here. Let's leave it some space. I think we should put it there. And then I'm going to grab the... We're going to ask for fire ice. And we're going to be the remote demand. Okay. So we'll ask for, I don't know, maybe 5,000. Sure, why not? If we start burning it, we might ask for more than that. But we'll see for now. So let's see. I guess we can just take this. I, I'm like careful not to fall in the lava and then I'm like hold on <laughs> we automatically float on lava it is not a problem friends no no okay that is on the ground that was weird looking okay so let's go here and hmm, I think we can take it from here from this last one Okay, and then go here. Okay, perfect, perfect, nice. I will get a power pole on the corner. Okay, and that works. And we're gonna get just kind of alternate connecting to our power source. And I'm not gonna fuss with like making them exactly the right length. It's okay if we waste the power pole here and there. It is not critical. As we see, it just gets there. Okay, come on. Bots, where are you? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I don't know where they've gone. Huh. There they go. Come on. There you go. Good. That way we can... I keep tripping on these rocks. They are unexpectedly tall. Like, you'd think that our, our robot could, like, so, sort of step over them, but... Apparently today it's too high. Not wearing the right shoes. Needs to be wearing rock climbing shoes. Rock climbing shoes for the win. At least today. I think maybe we'll go for lava wading boots next. Come on bots. There you go. Place the tower down please. I wonder where they were off to. That kind of surprises me. This is not connected. Why does this? Oh, it's charging. That's why. Okay, so we're here. We have ships. Where do we have ships? We have four ships. I think we're going to put all four ships in here because these are going to deliver 
also back to the homeland as well. So I think that's that's a good thing to, to get all that going. Now these are, I think, yeah, 46%. That is not a happy thing. That is definitely not happy, but we're going to get more, uh, I believe, when the station stops charging, because right now we're putting a lot of stress on the electrical grid. Okay, uh, so we need to we need to make sure that we can supply this. I do wonder if those other Dyson, uh, if the Dyson dishes are working. Maybe we need to place down a couple more at the North Pole. Let's go and check on that real quick. Oh, we didn't place any at the North Pole. <laughs> well, that explains it. Hmm. Okay. I, for I think I forgot completely. Okay. Let's add one here or a few. Whichever we have. Hello. So I guess we only have the ones at the South Pole. Uh, they should be up to speed by now, but I'm wondering if the bigger problem is that we just don't have enough uh, energy right now. That could very well be. So, let's see. Hello? Please. No, no. Mm. Okay, we're putting this one down. Let's see. These are going to charge. I am going to put down the solar panels I've been picking up because I feel like it's essential that they be uh replaced at this point because we're really short on power but this does give us an opportunity to import some fire ice and feed it to some very nice thermal generators now, i don't know if i have any do i have thermal generators hello um i'll check the power thing after i place these things I'm trying to multitask it and it is not working as well as i want Okay, there we are done with that. We do not have any thermal uh, power stations at the moment. So we might need to go get some. So these guys are doing well. Requested is seven megawatts. We're getting two. Hmm. Dyson Sphere status. We are, it looks like current total requested power is 190. Hmm. That means that we're definitely not getting enough. We need more from the swarm than we got. Oh, and our numbers are going way, 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 way down. I'm wondering if that's because of the current uh, situation with this stuff over here. I think what I might do is this. I think I'm going to disconnect that area for now and let these uh, launchers do their thing because I'm wondering if maybe adding too much power was not helping them fire because now we're at a hundred percent and they seem to be firing like crazy i don't know if it slowed them down or not uh but anyway i think in the next episode what we want to start off with is maybe importing that hydrogen like here i think we should go and grab hydrogen let's see let's add it right now actually we can get the hydrogen and we'll import like five thousand say Remote demand. And we have no ships here. Hmm. I think we'll just steal them from the other tower. I think that's the easiest thing to do is just steal them. It'll be fine. They won't mind. <gasps> no, they're out. Oh no, they're out and about. Let me go ahead and put this limit here. As so they don't leave again and see let's see if we can follow them on the schematic thingy hello hello oh we're in a we're in a fun spot aren't we okay so ships are there's some going out there and there's some coming back but you can't really tell which planet they're going to i think we'll just have to leave this for next time it does look like we're not getting a very continuous ring here, but that might be because the ring is so big. 
but we are firing continuously on these orbits so it's okay i think we are probably those guys are going for more fire ice so we'll have to wait till they come back and then we can transfer those ships and hopefully get some power generators we might sneak over to the other planet and go shopping at the mall and see if we can get some stuff but anyway uh i think that's going to be the end for this episode thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>